What's up, guys? Welcome back to our channel. I'm Phil, and got my co-host, as usual, with me, Sam. And what are we hey checking guys. out today? So we have Jimi Hendrix, Purple Haze. Jimi Hendrix. It's been a while since we've done some Jimi Hendrix. Yeah. The last one that we did, I believe, was the live performance on the BBC that we checked out. Oh, yeah, that was cool. It was very cool. And then we've also seen a live performance of Hey Joe that mm -hmm. he's done. Now, yeah. um, this is going to be a studio version from him, so it's going to be a, his first studio track that we're doing. Yeah, which is cool. 1967. Go on to this one. Throw back. Yeah. And it's crazy the influence that Jimi Hendrix had in such a short period of time. Yeah, Three so studio crazy. albums and one live album, I believe, but just renowned in terms of history and yeah. what could have Always been. Always hear him about him being like one of the greatest guitar players ever. And, yeah. You know, us seeing him like playing behind his back with yeah. his teeth, like not really surprised there. And very innovative um, is what I've heard about Jimi, but we're limited in our experience with yeah. him so we should get into that a little bit more shouldn't we yeah let's do it let's go background vocals yeah like the in the one ear yeah well it's going you know the back across, and forth. stereo aspect yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. Was, like, i feel like it's very like very trippy sounding almost like dreamlike or like well i mean purple haze is you know a psychedelic experience yeah. i think hendrix is known for psychedelic rock as well okay. right definitely to me fits that that mold well it's like it was 1967 as well yeah. you know it's that time period but um the musicianship is just wild it's so creative it's so different it's nothing like we've heard from that time period either like i can only yeah. imagine you know i'm trying to put myself into that headspace of being there in 1967 or the late 1960s when Jimi hendrix was coming to be and recognizing how different this is than everything else yeah what he's doing with his guitar work and the effects that he has yeah and, and just like we said about the use of the the vocal and it, he seems like he's experimenting almost yeah and just trying different things and i feel like i mean i could be wrong but obviously we've done so much on the channel sometimes it's hard to remember what specifically is from when but um I feel like what he's doing with the electric guitar is like a little bit heavier and a little bit like, you know, it's a, it's a little bit more intense than Agreed. other things from that time period. hundred percent. I don't, I couldn't, I couldn't picture. And I don't think we have done anything else that sounded like you said, as heavy as this yeah. at that like time. That riff and stuff. I yeah. was like, Oh, okay. So very unique, very cool. Um, I said he's tripping me out with like the spacing with the stereo, with the vocals. It's kind of wild to me too, how much it sounds like, is going on but also it just fits together mm -hmm. like it feels like there's different guitar layers that he's got going yeah, on yeah definitely I mean, obviously i can't tell this just from one listen and you have to you know dive into it a little deeper yeah. but um give us some insights down below guys
even if he wasn't intending for a psychedelic experience, it was a psychedelic experience. Yeah, to me, it definitely sounded like somebody like either kind of like on a trip or like in a dream or a, a haze of some sort. Purple haze. That's definitely the vibe I got. Yeah. Well, there was a hip hop album that came out called Purple Haze much later. It was all about smoking <laughs> Mary Jane. So <laughs> I don't know if that's related, but, but the uh, original purple haze here was fire. I loved it. It was um, so creative, um, lots of great energy. Um, only two, uh, almost three minutes here, but it felt like there was a lot of meat to this one. Yeah. And um, in the studio engineering component, I would like to have seen this one done because I feel like you know in the background there there was a lot you know there's effects and we uh, were reading a little bit about Jimmy in that he um, was one of the innovators from using effects so I don't yep. know specifically what it was but I feel like it was definitely on this track because as we were saying we haven't really heard anything like this yeah no it was definitely very unique and I think it was really cool to see or I guess hear a studio version from him because like you said so far we've only done live right and from that time period it is hard harder to get super, super high quality live listening experience. Well, I right? think it's also that when we watched him play the guitar, we focus on his ability to play yes. the electric guitar. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And this is focusing on him as a musician and compi- composing a song, yeah. which I believe, and correct me if I'm wrong, was also you know, why he was so renowned. Jimmy was a creator, right? And I think that's why people loved him so much because he approached music yeah. so differently. Yeah, and like I said, right, like obviously the visual aspect is going to be somewhat distracting because you're like, whoa, he can do that? Yeah. But also just the clarity and obviously the quality of the sound like in this is, is there, right? For sure. So, yeah. Well, let us know where you'd like us to go next with Jimmy yeah. on the Hendrix experience. And uh, you can drop a comment. If you enjoyed the video, remember to hit that like button as well, guys. If this is your first time on the channel, glad that you rolled through with us, but we'd love to have you long term. So hit that subscribe button. Don't forget your notification bell. And um, like I said, let us know about Jimmy, where you would like us to see, uh, what you would like us to see next. Recommendations are always welcome. I think there's a couple of uh, Woodstock performances. Um, This is the first song, like I said, that we've done. But he doesn't have a ton of studio material from what I understand. I believe some of it as well, obviously, like he was kind of getting introduced to the music scene yeah. right so maybe it's not as polished as his later stuff might be but you know we're learning here so you guys drop those comments let us learn a little bit more anything else you want to add sam no i like this so i'd definitely like to see more and you know make sure you guys subscribe come join us on this journey hit the notification bell so you don't miss any videos we drop two every day we do music comedy sports history and all kinds of music so there's lots for you to you know come and hang out with us and experience that's right All right, guys, have a great day. We'll see you tomorrow.